Well, shut your want. mouth then. Because um, you know what? You're dealing with Canadian woman right now. Okay, we're going to call the cops. You know what? You guys need to go back to where you Okay, came we're going to call the cops. The incident occurred more than two weeks ago, but was only just posted online last night. It's now been seen over 100,000 times and counting, with severe consequences for that woman, including getting fired from her job. Aaron Collins has the story. We don't don't say like here. good speak, just, you know just speak. Excuse me? Just speak. Don't say like that. Relax. We all Excuse can use it. Relax. Relax. Excuse me? Don't speak I was that. born and raised you here. Relax. I relax. am Canadian. Canadian. You relax. The video shot on April 21st in a Lethbridge Denny's provides a glimpse of what some newcomers may experience in Canada. You know what? You guys need to go back to where you Okay, came. we're going to call the cops. A woman leans over a booth berating a group of Afghan men with a string of racist slurs. One of them filmed it on his phone. How do you not lose your temper? Just being patient. Patient is the key. Being patient, not losing your temper, sounds pretty Canadian to me. Yes, <laughs> true. Omar Zai, a Canadian citizen who moved here as a teenager, says the encounter was unprovoked and un-Canadian. Why would she say that to go back to my country? We're all immigrants here. I mean, this Canada has been, you know, supportive of immigrants for all of, from all over the place. Well, the five minute long video ends with more taunts. Perfect, shut up. <laughs> speak English if you're gonna speak. The evening ended when police were called and Omar Zai and his friends, as well as the woman, were asked to leave the restaurant. For her part, the woman in the video, a resident of Cranbrook, B.C., told local Lethbridge News Now that she'd been drinking and was having an off day. Um, yes, I made some comments, shouldn't have been said. I even went back to Denny's and apologized to the manager, to the server. Um, I told the manager if I could apologize to the men that were there, I would. Um, for my actions, because, I mean, that's not who I am. She also released a formal statement saying she regrets her comments, but insists there's more to the story. Today, Pocha was fired by the car dealership where she works because of the video. Well, back in Lethbridge, word of the video spread quickly. The mayor says his phone started to vibrate at 4 a.m. Well, I was shocked. You know, it, it's horrific to see that. And I could tell that that was going to be a story. I think when I looked at it, it already had 700 shares or something like that. And uh, I think it's important to respond. For its part, Lethbridge police say they're now looking into the video, but stress that no charges were laid at the time of the incident. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Lethbridge. Now, as you heard a moment ago, Kelly Pocha does say she's sorry, but while she does admit her comments were racist, she insists the men directed obscene and racist comments at her, though she doesn't offer specifics. Here's some more of her conversation with Lethbridge News Now from earlier today. I'm not that person. I'm I'm a hardworking mother of three. I, you know, I, that's just not who I am. It was just uh, an off day. Um, like I said, things were said to me. I got heated, made some comments. Fortunately, those comments I can't take back. I mean, people get into arguments every day. People say things every day. It doesn't get splattered on Facebook and go nationwide. Like, it's just, I don't know. I I don't agree with the whole thing. I think it's just gotten blown way out of proportion, especially when you're only seeing one side of the story. You're not seeing the whole thing. So it doesn't look very good on me. Alberta's political leaders weighed in on all of this today as well. Here's part of what Premier Rachel Notley tweeted. Racist, bigoted comments have no place in Alberta. Everyone is welcome in Alberta. And United Conservative Party leader Jason Kenney said, the bigoted sentiments expressed in this video are appalling. Alberta is and always has been a welcoming home for hardworking newcomers from every corner of the world.